Hello everybody, this is Everyday Taipei, and today we are going to D Hua Street. Uh, just to show you where it is in relation to everything, this is Taipei 101 here, Sheila Night Market is here, and Taipei Main Station is here. So to get there, we have to go on the green line, get off at the Bayman exit number 2 station, and basically just walk up the street. It's about an 11 minute walk, a lot of cool things, a lot of old cool buildings, let's check it out. Okay, so this is the exit you're going to be exiting out of, exit number two at the Bay Mun Station. Uh, really easy to recognize because it's right next to the Railway Museum. Another interesting thing, if you're in this area, maybe to pop over to. It's really new, I don't know too much about it. Maybe I can look at it at a different time. But basically, you're going to walk through here, walk down this street. You don't have to turn, just go straight down this and you'll get to the entrance. This is the entrance, I saved us a little bit of time so that we could spend a little bit more time on the cooler parts about this street. So, if you see this post here, it kind of signifies the start of the historic part of this street. And so, the area that we're in right now is called Da Dao Chen. That's my, the best I can pronounce it, don't make me try to re repeat that, but um, Basically, I thought this place was a tourist trap at first, actually. Um, wait, hold up. First boba side of the video. Dear T. It got okay reviews, but it looks absolutely mobbed right now. Um, but going back to what I was saying, it is in this area called Da Dao Chen. That's, I thought was a tourist trap before, but after living here for some time, I actually really really like this area like I thought these were kind of a facade if you see these old buildings here but it's actually historically preserved from the Jack during the Japanese occupation of this time is when this street got really really popular and so the architecture is fantastic I think um, when I was walking up this street one of the primary parts to come to is this side street here, this first right, and this place got a huge line. It was because of this, they have this special boba that you saw in that picture. Um, it's kind of like a golden looking boba over shave ice with some taro balls and stuff and sweet potato balls, and it looks awesome, and there was definitely a lot of people. These other shops here are very famous too for like local cuisine like fish soup and things like that from what i hear from the locals it sounds like it's just a place that is very nostalgic like they've been here for a very long time 50 or so years and so whenever people come to this area they kind of stop and eat at one of those uh restaurants over there so kind of going back to the buildings if you've lived here or spent some time here you know that the architecture really varies a lot. So sometimes it's just very practical looking buildings and other times it's super modern. Th this street has a very particular architectural style that you'll see in the government buildings for instance and it's from I'm going to be a I'm going to help you be a little bit snooty with all your friends. You can say it's a uh, baroque architecture. It's baroque style architecture. And you'll see this, it's common from the time when the Japanese occupied Taiwan. And so that was the like the fancy architecture style of the period. And so a lot of the government buildings, a lot of the special uh, infrastructure buildings that you see, like if you saw my Beito video, there was a bathhouse and that was in the same type of architecture style. And so this whole street is decked out in it, and I think it's so cool. One of the things I just passed up on the right, you see like this big building, and it is the Yongle Fabric Market. I totally butchered that. But it's a wholesale fabric market that you can go into. It's on the second floor. The first floor is all like meat and, and vegetables and stuff but the second floor is where you'll get all the fabrics and so if you're into that kind of stuff it should be a must go to place for you if that's your type of thing yeah and so it's actually the biggest one in the only wholesale market on the island too so 
I believe a lot of industry people actually go there as well. Coming up, you're going to see the... I'm going to butcher this as well. The Jiahai Taipei <laughs> Temple. This thing on the right, you you see it. <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone that's a, a native speaker of Mandarin, but yeah, that I'll someday I'm going to nail it down. Someday, you know, and you guys will see my progress, and it's going to be cool. But basically, um, the thing that's interesting about this temple is that... Um, it's come to be known uh, for like single people or people praying for other for relationships. So <laughs> you'll see either really desperate people <laughs> or uh, people like praying to get their like I don't know their son or their daughter married soon or something like that. <laughs> so I felt kind of bad um, filming these people. I don't know if they felt self-conscious about it but I needed to show you guys what it was so that's why I I did have some hesitation though so I, because I don't know if these people are like praying to this god saying like I'm so lonely please give me somebody to marry soon I don't know but what you do is I think what you do is you light the incense you pray and then you put it in this pot here which is which is awesome it looks really cool yeah in their religion though they really like to burning things are are important to it so uh, you'll see a lot of stores and stuff burning stuff on the side of the street and don't be alarmed it's just a part of the religion <laughs> there's my finger i apologize but that i that that was a cool little mini little snack like you never see that in that size this thing is really cool i mean it's one of the go-to snacks that i love basically it's a crepe with some peanut powder and some ice cream in it and then they put cilantro on it and then they roll it up like a burrito i love it but i love cilantro so you know if, if you love it if you love cilantro definitely get it it is awesome especially during the summer or anytime it's hot it's a go-to But yeah, I love how this architecture looks. And they really keep it really clean and restore it. Like this building is under construction right now. Uh, as you know, a major theme in my videos is new constructions for some weird reason. But they are repairing that one and it looks amazing. It looks cool. And in, and this area, this Da Dao Chen area is particular in that they have more of these types of buildings than than you see anywhere else I, I it's hard for me to think if I can remember if there's any other areas in Taipei with with this style of architecture the older parts of the city probably but I don't know if they're kept up to the same degree really but yeah it really some of the stores you'll find here a lot of dried foods and dried Chinese herbs because during that time of occupation this is was the hot spot for Chinese medicine and Chinese herbs and I from what I hear it actually continued in, until like the 90s when they started cracking down on that type of stuff and so this was like the major hub for it and so since then, those places have kind of closed down, but the things that have filled it, because it's got like this really cool character, it has some really cool artsy shops and some really good like cafes and coffee shops actually. And so, yeah, the first time I came here, like I said, I thought it was a big tourist trap. Ooh, dude, you've got to look at this. Um, cartwheel cake one of my favorite things to get is cartwheel cake and this one had a pretty long line I don't know if it was because it was a Saturday or something but you know it looked good but I just really wanted to show you a really quick idea give you a really quick idea of what this place is I hope you enjoyed it I'm actually going you can keep on going down this street and there's a lot more of it left 
you know how that goes. I always go down the main street and tell you guys to go explore the side streets because there's a whole lot more in these areas. But I wanted to leave you guys with that <laughs> cilantro video here, uh, this ice cream burrito thing, and show you how it's made. This one was really good. I suggest you go here if you're if you see this cart. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek, a uh, little preview of, not a sneak peek, a preview of what Di Hua Street is like. Definitely recommend it. Really cool area. If you have any other places you'd like me to check it out, definitely let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to try and do it. See ya.